But those who believe in that name, Olumba Olumba Obu, those who are faithful in that name, conscious of the fact that the name can accomplish all things, do not shout nor call it many times. And before the sound comes out of their mouth, something spectacular will happen. Those of you who lack faith and disbelief, God are short of testimony. Some people can dialogue with the Father's picture. Somebody can just thank the Father for what he receives, even without getting it, and it will be fulfilled. It is faith which does the work. There is no need for drinking holy oil or bathing in black pan water. There is no need for long prayers. You have his telephone number which you have to dial in time of emergency. Immediately you believe in your heart that there is no apparition, witch or wizard sin nor death when you believe that you have no problem and declare same that is the end of your problem it does not require any prayer than what you have heard if you lack money it is because you lack faith but if you believe in your heart and become convinced that you have money then money will always be with you and within your reach but once you speak negatively I don't have money you will lack money though you shout at the top of your voice for people to give you money nobody will lend you any years have I ever told you there is no wealth here I continuously tell you that wealth that money Unemployment is here, but honest persons are required. But you declare now that you do not have money, and it is fulfilled to you, as you have said. If you believe in your heart that there is no juju, no charm, a mermaid, a apparition, a witch, a wizard, and fetish, and that only God exists, then you would have received righteousness and when you speak out from your mouth it will be fulfilled faith is like magnet you intend to board an aircraft which is about to take off at exactly nine o'clock but if in your heart you are wholly convinced that you will not miss the flight and, and that the plane will have to take off when you have boarded, then the plane will not leave until you are there. And once you get into the aircraft, it will take off. This is what occurred to the leader representative of Cameroon, at Cameroon. She testified that no matter who is involved, the plane cannot wait on the tarmac beyond the time it has to take off but in her own case the aircraft waited one hour above the scheduled time and as soon as she boarded the plane took off i am omnipresent breadwin whether you are trekking on a road where vehicles do not ply just believe in your heart that you will enter a vehicle along the road and it will be fulfilled according accordingly neither the driver nor you will know how it come about but such is with such is what faith can do you are suffering and on the other hand imposing sufferings upon yourself even though you know that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are here. 
Why do you fast and pray in a way that you disturb your next door neighbor? Why do you go to endless ministry works? You have also celebrated feasts to such an extent that you do not know what to do next. What is the profit derivable from those acts of yours? Have faith and believe in him in order to behold his glory. I am aware that this lecture is too advanced for you, but then you have received it. I have given you the ability to receive it. I have opened your ears, your eyes, and have broken the walls of your hearts for these words to go in and dwell. The songs you render that the Father is at 34 Amber Street is always wrong. The Father is in your heart. The Father is, is, is with you along the road. He is above and beneath. The Father is in the water and is present everywhere. Who tells you that the Father is stationary at 34 Amber Street, Calabar? Is it not faithlessness? that causes you to speak in this manner, you are equally wrong to claim that the Father is here on earth. Who tells you that? I am making these declarations to you from the high heavens, and those words are heard and received by all the inhabitants of the world all creations of God and all planes of manifest. Those who are asleep receive the same gospel I deliver. Those in the water, those above, those in America, those in India and all the countries of the world, all the spirits and angels, and indeed all creations of God receive exactly these words. Nobody has told me this, but that is the truth. Why do you bother yourself having known that the Father is here with you? The Father knows whatever type of problem you have and he has taken same away. You do not need to tell somebody your problem. Exercise this faith with strong belief so that things can work out well. Faithlessness has always been your problem. You are shouting, Ulumba, Ulumba, Obu, everywhere. And yet, he has done all things, but you always refuse to believe because you are faithless. Like those from Asata Bethel at Enugu. I just laugh at them because they think that I do not know what goes on there. I am there at Asata, I am, and I am here too. Some of them have started believing now. When you come to, to me, when you come to me, before I start asking you questions, I have answers ready-made with me, which are things I have known already, but when you begin to enumerate what transpired, to whom are you talking? Are you talking to a blind or a deaf? Brethren, read the second lesson again. Listen attentively to the second lesson. Second lesson, Romans chapter 10, verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Faith works like magic, brethren. That is the key. This explains why when the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ could not cure an epileptic patient, they asked Christ why they could not perform the healing, but Christ said they lack faith. And he further said, 
if you were to possess faith even as a mustard seed, you could command this sycamore tree to be removed from here and be planted at a yonder space place and it would obey you, myself and the world who loves the other more. Does the world love themselves? Do you love God? But I love you and I have come to save you. Tell me why I should leave you astray. At your house, people are scared of you, having realized that you do not move alone. Wherever people have the intention of harming you, it is the Father who will appear, but yet you do not believe. Others testify that they have seen the man who wears the red garment at places they consult oracles. They see Olumba. When they attempt to kill you, it is Olumba that will appear. But you do not seem to recognize his wonderful manifestation. In the wake of this, you always say, I was, I want to go to Calabar and report what you have done to the Father. What do you mean by my Father? I am convinced that as many millions that believe the same are saved, realize that you do not believe, although you complain of one trouble, one difficulty or problem or the other, are unbelievers. Those who believe have no problem, they do not even pray, but they move freely without any problem. Others outside the fall maintain that nobody can point any accusing finger at you. But you say that has been done. You declare that incubus torment you every night or that you are always bewitched. But those in the world bear witness that your father is always with you but you make negative statements at all times whatever was your problem as i am here now your problems are over the holy spirit does not require your money or your wisdom or your anecdotes he does not beg or long for prayer or fasting or your fees, but he expects you to believe in your heart that there is no witch, there is no apparition, there is no death, no luck, no tribulation, and that all things are well with you. Speak out that you have all things within your reach and it shall be fulfilled. Even when a small child from brotherhood of the cross and star goes into any gathering, that child is greater than them and they have to obey that child. Whatever type of conference that is attended by even a child born today, in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, all the attendants must bow to the baby. In addition, nothing can harm him. Do you think you are safe because of fasting or because of the protracted speeches you make or long prayers? You are safe out of mercy and grace. Faith subsumes what one does not see but yet believes. 
But since I believe that the type of work I do, you are doing that, you are doing and that you shall remain with me, though you argue that nobody can stay with God. But does that hinder your staying with me? Are you not saying are you not staying with me now? You are doing the works that I do and I have changed and I have changed you into the nature of God. It is with the heart that you believe unto righteousness and with the mouth that you confess and have salvation. Once you declare that you have relations, you have brothers, sisters, and employment, do not bother any longer, for they will come easily to you. The gospel of yesterday taught us that whatever is meant for a man remains his own. Once you believe that yours is yours, you will not struggle for you will not struggle nor scramble for things. You will not talk nor make noise. Neither will you enslave yourself to somebody being aware that your share will be given to you in due season. And if you do not get it today, you may get it tomorrow. Recall the case of the centurion. He was not a disciple of Christ, yet None of his disciples had his type of faith. He said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Nobody knew the distance between the centurion's house and the place they were, but he requested for the spoken word. Have you seen what the spoken word can do when you make arrangement to go to America because your blood relation is sick over there. Is where you are not America? Speak the word and things will be all right. Tell the person that at that moment he is well and that will be done accordingly. Connect yourself with God. God is love. God is true, he is patient, he is mercy, he is peace, he is goodness, he is long-suffering, he is meekness, and he is lowliness of the heart. When you have these attributes, it means you have a link with God. At this stage, you have no disappointment in anything you wish to do. How many people always believe that things are well when the Father says, Go, all is well. Some people argue that the Father is fond of making such declarations, go all is well. But all those who believe have never experienced any problems. I thank the Holy Spirit for the faith injected into brethren from Asata Bethel. They are satisfied with this gospel and great testimonies abound for all of them. Though they intended leaving before now, only to be held back in order to receive this gospel, but now they are happy. Remember that man who suffered from leprosy? When Jesus met him, he asked, What wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? Does it mean Christ did not know his plight? But it is with the heart Man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The leper said to Christ, If thou wilt, cleanse me. And he said, Be thou cleansed. At that spot, the sick man was cleansed. If you lack faith, and you are commanded to be cleansed, it will not work out, because you are faithless. What of the blind man Bartimaeus? He cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Though, although the disciples cautioned him not to shout, 
that did not stop him. Christ gave the blind man attention. Does that mean he was not aware of the man's blindness? He asked him, What will thou that I shall do unto thee? Christ said, Receive thy sight. And immediately he received his sight. If the man had disagreed, do you think Christ's command that he should receive his sight would have worked? Faith works like magic. If all of you possess this faith, all your problems will be over. When I told you that the war missiles produced by four powerful nations, that is uh, France, Britain, United States of America, and Soviet Union, was for naught. Nobody believed. Now what happened? Are those war implements not a waste now? I stand on the high heaven and make this declaration to the world that there is no witch. There is no wizard, no apparition, no mermaid, no charm or juju or diabology, and that man does not exist. Have you heard any challenge from any quarters? It is faithlessness that causes you to believe in these transitory things. They cannot be of any good use to you. Your father, mother, and the government cannot do anything for you, but it is your faith which works wonders for you. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Whosoever believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And that statement is firm. Christ further stated, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out demons. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall pick up serpents. And if they drink any deadly potion, it shall not hurt them. They shall place their hands on the sick and they shall recover. Have all these not followed you? You have heard the testimony of that man who came from Italy, how he was ill and was taken to many hospitals in Italy and Paris, yet there was no cure. He was advised to return to Nigeria. And coming back, as soon as he was baptized in brother of the cross and star, his ailment was cured. Some of you are still going to hospitals, and there are remnants of tablets in your bags. You are taking medicine and going to the Juju doctor. Where lies your faith? How many people have heard this injunction nor practice it? Those who believe are not sick because of faithlessness. I am aware that all the inhabitants of the world are saved except the child of perdition. That confirms the statement of our Lord Jesus Christ in John chapter 17 verse 12 which says, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Brethren, you cannot bestow faith on any person. Faith comes from the heart. When you believe, in your heart you will have righteousness which will empower you to confess and receive salvation. Brethren, let your golden text be read again. Golden text, Matthew chapter 12 verse 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. With faith and belief, all is well, brethren, the centurion said, Speak the word only, 
and my servant shall be healed. And it was fulfilled accordingly. As you believe in your heart that all is well, declare that all is well, and it will be fulfilled accordingly. But when you confess that things are not well with you, it will manifest. As you have spoken, some people maintain that God loves some group of people and hate the rest. For those for these belief for those who believe in him, it is fulfilled unto them according to their measure of faith. Those who do not believe lack this luck because of faithlessness. Those from Biakpan take their bath in that Biakpan water at all times and their sicknesses are not cured. But all those who believe that immediately they bathe in that wonderful Biakpan water, their problem will be over. Once they do that, their problem becomes solved. A certain woman was on her way to be a pan with her sick child. And at Asaka, and at Asata, the child died. People dissuaded her to discontinue her journey since, since there was no need going to be a pan with the corpse of the child. The woman stood her ground and continued the journey to be a pan in spite of the tragic event. As soon as she reached the Akpan community, the child came back to life. Have you seen what faith can do? It is fulfilled unto you according to your faith. It is with your words that you are saved. If you allow good words to proceed out of your mouth, if you believe unto righteousness, if you confess what you believe, then salvation has come to you. Many people in Brotherhood of Christ and Star believe in the existence of witch, of fetish, and juju, but conclude that such shaky things cannot affect them. Others maintain that wizard, incubus, apparition, and diabology are still troubling them. Others concur that the father says that there is no witch, no wizard, no fetish, no mermaid or juju or charm, and such persons are free. That fulfills the golden text which says, By thy words thou shalt be condemned. You do not get into this kingdom by anything or means but only by faith. Therefore, let us believe and be faithful. You have troubled yourself too much, whereas the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are at work with his angels, with his spirits, with the apostles, and all the children of God. Why should you bother yourself complaining to be the breadwinner of yourself that means you do not glorify God. You neither know Him nor have faith in Him. Believe fervently that all the blessings bestowed on those at Emo State now is equally bestowed on you. And those at Emo State have equally received the blessings bestowed on you now and that the inhabitants of the world have also shared in the blessings equally. Everything is based on the fact that all is well. When you believe and confess that all is well, know that all is well. Brethren, it is said that a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. I do not intend to take you further. Let those who have ears hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
Thank you, Father.